to Naples at the point. Skates on, side of the net, SCORES! This crowd is rocking in Pagula. Penn State is affectionately referred to as Happy Valley, but when we're in Pagula Ice Arena, it's Hockey Valley. Students don't just come to Penn State and show up to something and expect to be entertained. They are the entertainment. You can't even hear the whistle here. My goodness. The entire atmosphere of Google Ice Arena, the Roar Zone is the catalyst for all of that. I do think it's the best atmosphere that I've ever had the privilege of playing or, or coaching in. The Roar Zone just brings so much noise, so much energy. They get the crowd going and, and they, they honestly get the players going too. Celebrating in front of the Roar Zone is probably my favorite thing about playing hockey here. Fires and scores! There goes the roof! When you look up and see everybody going crazy, whether it's with the pom-poms or the signs, it's, it's pretty unbelievable. And now you have the Pagula factor impacting the hockey game. Coach Godowski always says that we are his biggest recruiting tool. And players come to play in front of the Roar Zone and it really is an honor to be a part of that. Every coach says that they love their fan base and every team says that they love their fan base. It's different with Penn State hockey. Godowski and the team, I think, have the most authentic relationship with their fans that I've ever seen. The team gives the fans that feeling, like you're not a fan of the team, you're part of it. It's hard for me to talk about without tearing up, honestly. It's given me a family. I mean, so many of my best friends from Penn State came from the Roar Zone. I had just transferred here. I was a big hockey fan. Going to my first hockey game, I want to do something fun. I want to do something spontaneous. I want to do something that's Penn State. And my roommate Chris just goes, you can wear your Thor costume. I remember just the energy that he brought, and it was very infectious to not only the student section, the Roar Zone, but also the rest of the arena. The whole team loved it, and then I was like, all right, I'll do it again. Soon, next thing you know, we had Hulk, we had Iron Man. There were more people dressing up as the Avengers as well. In 2014, the day before I was supposed to come back for senior year, doctor looks at a scan of my MRI from early in the summer and says you have to have three 15-hour surgeries you may never walk again and you have to have the first one tomorrow. Coach Godowski, he noticed I wasn't coming to the games anymore he went to the student section and was asking where was he what happened? We found out that he, he had spina bifida. Spina bifida the bottom of your vertebrae aren't fully developed and the Spinal cord itself is either loose, unprotected. It gets filled with a fat lipoma, similar to like a tumor. So when you're born, essentially, you're paralyzed. When I was an infant, I had three operations, and then it just, in my early 20s, it just started to come back and get bad. I had 18 screws, two rods, 164 stitches, and 64 staples. When I was in the hospital, I was in there for a month, this huge box shows up. We open it, and we just see a Penn State hockey jersey sitting on the top with a little card signed by the whole team and the coach. That's just something that doesn't happen unless a person is just genuinely amazing like that. So I, I love coach. We really wanted to see him and we knew that he couldn't make the trip here, but when we were going to play in Madison Square Garden, we knew that the hospital that he was by was, was, was close. I remember talking to his dad, and I got a text saying, hey, he's gonna make it. I was in a wheelchair, because I couldn't even walk yet. My dad helped me put the costume on and pushed me around Madison Square Garden in a wheelchair dressed as Thor. Literally, Coach Guy Godowski shows up in the crowd in the upper deck of Madison Square Garden, took my wheelchair, pushed me all the way down to the locker room. They had given me so much in such a short time, I wanted to give them something. 
So I just said thank you to the coach. I gave him the hammer and I just said like, I want you guys to have this. The whole point of Thor's hammer is it's actually not that heavy, but you have to be worthy to lift it. If you're worthy and can lift it, you get all the powers of Thor. So I thought if I give them the hammer, they now have the power. He was all dressed up, which was amazing. The fact that he did that was amazing, and the whole team was, uh, it was, it was moving, let's just say that. They like to tell me that my story is something they rally around. Well, their support for me was a rallying point for me. I do truly believe that if they didn't motivate me the way they did, it probably would have been another year or two before I was able to come back. And uh, I'm always going to be grateful for that. There's certain values on our team that we want to recognize. Probably the biggest one of that is mental toughness. What Thor went through, what Gary went through, and, and the way he came out on the other side, it takes way more mental toughness than I, I've ever needed to have, um, or maybe could ever have. That's what leaders do. This one's going to burger. The Thor's hammer is given out to the player that demonstrates most mental toughness. So whether that's you know blocking shots, fighting through injury, or just making you know little plays all over the ice. All right, boys, good win tonight. It's definitely an honor to, to get that. It's always one of those moments where everyone's kind of taken back a little bit and, uh, you know, especially for the new guys, they don't really know what the hammer is and what it means. Understanding that, you know, we're just playing hockey and there are some people out there that are battling their whole lives to get through something. I believe this boy wants to see you right now? Yeah. There you go. So, you. if we can be you know, mentally tough in here, then hopefully they, they can do the same out there. For Gary to have that legacy passed down and the fact that he's going to be a part of Penn State hockey history, I think that's a really cool thing. It's, there, there's no words. Um, if I had to say any words, it, uh, it makes you feel like you're part of the team. And um, there's nothing cooler than that.